transitive and intransitive verbs. Verbs can either be transitive or intransitive. Transitive verbs must have a direct object to complete the thought. Intransitive verbs do not have a direct object. Let's start by reviewing what a direct object is. A direct object is the person or thing that receives the action from the subject. For example, she eats watermelon for breakfast. The action is eat. And it's the watermelon that is receiving the action. The direct object in this sentence is the watermelon. Here are some more examples. Here are the verbs. And here are the direct objects. Each is receiving the action. In these examples, the action moves from the subject, through the verb, to the direct object. From the subject, through the verb, to the direct object. Each of these verbs is a transitive verb, because the action moves, or transits, from the subject to the object. These sentences would be incomplete without the direct object. Transitive verbs must have a direct object to complete the thought. Now, some sentences don't have a direct object, because not all verbs need one. Verbs that don't need a direct object are called intransitive verbs. Take this example. The boy cried. There is nothing to receive the action. The action is not passed on to a direct object because there is no direct object. Here are some more examples. An egg dropped on the floor. The audience laughed. Mr. Smith sneezed loudly. In these sentences, there is no direct object. The action is not passed on. These verbs are intransitive. See if you can work out whether the verbs in the following sentences are transitive or intransitive. Pause here while you work. Let's check the answers. In the first sentence, the action of the verb brushed moves through the subject, the girl, to the direct object, her teeth. This means brushed is transitive. Number two. There is no direct object that receives the action fell. The branch fell. To the ground is a prepositional phrase telling us where it fell. Because the action fell does not move to a direct object, fell is an intransitive verb. Number three. Placed. Placed what? The vase. The vase is receiving the action, which makes it a direct object. The action moves from the subject, through the verb, and to the direct object. Placed is transitive. The fourth sentence is written in passive voice. Who or what is receiving the action of the verb given? The children. The direct object is the children. The action of the verb moves from a hidden subject, most likely a teacher, to the children. This means given is transitive. Number five, arrives is intransitive as there is no direct object. There is nothing receiving the action. Number six, died is another intransitive verb. There is no direct object. Some verbs can be transitive or intransitive depending on their use. Take the verb melt from a sentence earlier in the lesson. The heat from the car melted the ice cream. Here, the verb melted is transitive because the action is moving from the subject to the direct object, the ice cream. The verb melted becomes intransitive in the following sentence. The ice cream melted. Plays is another verb that can be transitive or intransitive. Joe plays video games all day. Joe plays outside. Here, the verb plays is intransitive.
there is no direct object for the action to move to. In this sentence, the verb plays is transitive. The action moves through the verb to the direct object, video games. As a final activity, write two sentences, one with a transitive verb and one with an intransitive verb. Use the given verbs for ideas. If you like, leave your sentence in the comments section. EasyTeaching.net